Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wispin here and I am back with another video here on the Hoenn Adventure server. If you guys do want to join me here on the server, the IP is pokecentral.org. There's a link down in the description to a tutorial on how you can actually install Pixelmon. But in the last episode, we got ourselves a melodic. If you missed that one, go ahead and check it out. So today we're going to be trying to take on the seventh gem here on the server, which is the psychic type gem in Maz Deep City. And I do believe we should have a pretty good chance here because Venus has Crunch as well as Iron Head, which should be super effective against all of these psychic type Pokemon. If I do remember correctly, at least I think Crunch will be good against all of them and Iron Head will be good against the Lunatone and Solrock, which I already know they have. So we should have a pretty good chance here. I'm actually going to go ahead and put P in slot two because he also has a, an Iron type move for a couple of these pokemon but let's just go ahead and jump straight into it so i have no idea what level they're gonna be i guess we'll find out welcome to the maz deep gym oh do i have to talk to you were you surprised oh they both said it oh okay yeah i'm no i wasn't surprised that there were two gym leaders not even a little bit there's two of you standing right here yeah you're twins we don't need to talk because we can determine what the other is thinking cool cool wait Okay, just let me battle you, please. Please, stop talking. Okay, there we go. Okay, level 42. Pretty high level, not too bad. I think we should be able to handle it. I'm going to go ahead and actually just use Iron Head for these first couple Pokemon. We're going to use Iron Head on Solrock, and we'll use Iron Tail on Lunatone and see how much that does. Okay, swapped from Solrock to Solrock. Is that what just happened there? Huh, interesting. All right, the Lunatone's gone. Oh, okay, so they had two Solrocks and two Lunatones. Weird. That is fine, though. I guess we will just go ahead and keep spamming out Iron Head and Iron Tail on both of these guys and hopefully take them the rest of the way out. P is taking some damage there. That is okay. Should take out the Soul Rock, I think. Yep. And one last Soul Rock, and that's actually it. This was a very, very easy gym battle. It turns out if you have Pokemon that have super effective moves, the gym battles are a lot easier than if you're trying to use Pokemon that don't have any super effective moves. So we'll go ahead and do that. That should finish him off. He's going to take out P. That's fine. And we didn't quite one-shot him, but we should be good to go here. So we'll just we'll just do that real quick. And there we go. Okay, the seventh gym battle is now completed. And they are still repeating everything. We deserve this gym badge. Cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at our badges, actually, which we can do in our quest book. Uh, seven out of eight of the gym badges. We're almost to the eighth gym badge, and then we'll be taking on the Elite Four here on the server. And we also got a Calm Mind TM. Oh my goodness, my inventory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and actually make sure that we try to get some more storage here on the server for all of the people that are playing on it. Uh, possibly adding Ender Chest to all of the Pokemarts and Poke Centers. That might be what we go with. That should be pretty good. I feel like if we add a, an, an Ender Chest with like six rows, that should be more than enough space for quite a while. So I'll probably do that either this Friday or next Friday, if possible. Uh, but for now, what is our next quest? So head to the Maz Deep Space Center and defeat the Team Magma Grunts, which we're actually already here. We do need to visit the Poke Center first, and then we'll go ahead and, I guess, try to take them on. I don't know how many there are. I think probably five or six, but... We took out that gym so fast that we kind of still need something to do for the rest of the episode. All right, guys, so let's just jump straight into this. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different magma grunts we're going to have to take out. And then I do believe there is another double battle with those two guys right there. So let's just start it off. Let's see what level they are. See if maybe we need to go do some more training, which I wouldn't doubt because our Pokemon really are kind of underleveled. Uh, actually, that's really low level. Mightyena. He must have like six of them or something. Uh, let's just go with Flayroth. Let's see, what else does he have? Okay, yeah, I, I assume this guy probably has like six Mightyenas. That's why they're all really low levels. Kind of pointless to have that many if they're that level and we can just one-shot them all. But I guess I'll take it. It's an easy first fight, but we still have five more to go after this. I'm kind of hoping that they stay around this level. It would be very easy to beat as long as we don't miss our shots. And yeah, definitely had six of them. That's a little much. Yeah, it should be embarrassing. That was really sad. <laughs> Magma Grunt. Well, this is embarrassing. Okay. Number two, let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. We don't really need to heal up or anything. Team Magma Leader Maxi is probably very busy right now. That's cool. I'm, I'm glad. So we can just head on in here, and that was not the right move to use. Okay. We'll try play rough. That was still not the right move to use. 
but we can use it against this Mightyena. Yeah, see, these are slightly higher, but even these, they're way under-leveled compared to the gem, so maybe I need to up the levels of all these grunts. All right, you think you're going to get past me? That's very funny. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, if you say so. Wow, it really wasn't all that funny. Oh, level 36, that's a little bit higher. A little bit more of a challenge, still not really all that much. There we go, and that that really wasn't that hard. I'm sorry to, sorry to break the news to you, Magma Grunt. The only reason we're having trouble now is we're going to run out of PP on all our moves, and we're not going to have any left to use. Uh, like, we're already out of play rough, so I guess I'll just use Crunch. Not very effective. Let's try Iron Head. It's probably a better bet. Yeah, that did a little bit more. Uh, although against a Numal, we might want to use Crunch. Pretty good. I might have to head to the Poke Center just to heal up so we get our moves back. So we can start using Play Rough again. And Recover. Oh, that's actually great. Let's actually replace Aqua Ring. Because Aqua Ring isn't all that great. I think Recover is a little bit better. Let's go ahead and use Iron Head on this Mighty Anna. Not going to do too much damage. I would use Play Rough, but... Unfortunately, we are out of PP, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm gonna head back to the Pokey Center. Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to. The, I'm just gonna use Pokey Heal. I would walk all the way there and walk all the way back, but it's not really that big of a deal. It's it's not that far away. Might as well use Pokey Heal. So let's go ahead and move on to this guy, and play rough. There we go. He withdrew a Mighty Anna, sent out a Crobat. Okay. Let's try Iron Head. Nice. And another Mighty Anna. This might be his last Pokemon, I think. We hurt ourselves in our confusion. That is unfortunate. Uh, oh, he does have another Pokemon. Golbat. Okay. Iron Head. I feel like we took out the Crobat easier than the Golbat, which is kind of odd. Uh, but now we can use Play Rough on the Mighty Anna. And it didn't one-shot him. That's kind of surprising, actually. I, th I thought it would. He's only level 32. All right, there we go, and Trap Hinge up to level 30 now. He's getting close. We could actually use our rare candies. You know what? I know, guys. I know. I'm doing this every episode. I know. It's terrible. It's a bad habit. You shouldn't do this. It's it's the worst. <laughs> you really shouldn't, but I, I just need to get this Trap Hinge up because I'm really tired of having just a, a lame Trap Hinge sitting on my team. Earthquake. That's going to be good once we get to a Flygon, so we'll, we'll keep it for now. And there we go. We're evolving into a Bride Lava. We're still going to need another 10 or so levels on him in order to get him to a Flygon, but at least we're getting pretty close, and at least he's evolved once, and we no longer have to look at that ugly, ugly Trap Inch. There we go. We got a Bride Lava. Dragon's Breath, I guess. Actually, it's special. There's really no reason to have it. These are all physical attacking moves. I think, actually, our moveset's not all that bad. Probably want to replace Dig with a physical dragon-type move. Uh, but other than that, we are pretty good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to replace Dig with Sandstorm. Probably never going to use it, but might as well. All right, so we are actually, I believe, nine levels off a Flygon with our Brivava now. Bri Vibrava. Vibrava? Is that, did I say it right the first time? I don't even know. Either way, let's go ahead and battle this guy, and I think, did we already fight this one? I can't remember. I think we still have two left. So I just finished off the rest of the Magma Grunts, and now all we have left to do is talk to Steven, and I do believe we have a double battle here that we're gonna have to take part in. So Steven, hello. These people need to be stopped. Is that it? Thank, thanks for the advice. I was, I already defeated seven of them, Steven. Come on now, I already knew that. You're completely pointless. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to uh, Tabitha and Maxi. So this is actually my fourth time taking on Tabitha and Maxi. I cut out the rest because the battle kept glitching out, which happens a lot with double battles. But let's go ahead and jump into this one more time and see if we can get it to complete the battle. I know it's possible if you're having issues like this, just keep trying over and over. It can get annoying. Uh, believe me, I know. I've almost won four times and then the battle canceled. But... It's okay. We can try this one more time, and let's see if maybe we can beat it. At least I have some strategies now. So the plan is for us to jump into this battle, which they say, you refuse to give up. You're persistent. Unfortunately for you, we aren't going to let you stop us. In order to create more land, we'll take out anyone in our way. So the plan is to go ahead and use Play Rough on this Mighty Anna, which is actually going to make them swap into a Camerupt, at least as far as I know. And we're going to use Water Pulse on the... Can we use it on... We're going to use Water Pulse on the Mighty Anna as well. That should make it use Water Pulse on the Camerupt, if everything goes as planned. Let's try this. 
Oh, did they not swap off? Okay, that also works. I'm fine with that as well. Okay, cool. So we did manage to take out the Mighty Anna. Normally they did swap. I don't know what changed that. I guess maybe because we used the Water Pulse, they decided it wasn't a good idea. But let's go ahead and try to use Iron Head on the Crobat, and we'll use Water Pulse on the camera up now, and hopefully that does some damage. Okay, that did good good damage on the camera up. Not so good on the Crobat. What's better on Crobat? Crunch? That would be a dark type move. It's poison flying. So I really don't know. I know play rough isn't all that great. So let's try crunch, I guess. I could look up the weaknesses, but that would that would just be too much effort. <laughs> so we're just going to pick a random move until we can take it out. These crowbats are kind of hard to take out, I'm not going to lie. If we had a super effective move, we'd probably be good. I know Nero does have electric type moves. That would be good. Uh, let's try... You know what? I'll look it up. You know what? Before... Let's see. Crowbat. Crowbat is weak to... Psychic, Electric, Ice, and Rock. Okay, so I didn't have any super effective moves anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just go with, I guess, another... Man, we'll just use Play Rough. I know it's not very effective, but it's our best bet. So we'll use Recover here to try to get some of our health back on Melodic. Never mind, he's going to faint, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. And we'll send out Vibrava, and we'll try to use... I guess Iron Head on this Crobat, and then we'll use Rock Slide on both of them. And that's going to be pretty good for the rest of this match because they have the Crobat, Golbat, two camera ups, which I think Rock Slide should be good on all of them. So we'll just keep spamming that out. I don't. Oh, I should have used Earthquake there, shouldn't I? Maybe? All right, so play rough on the Mighty Anna here. They're probably going to swap that out into a Crobat or something. Let's use Earthquake here because why not? Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, this keeps happening. Oh, no. That's like the fourth time. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is just keep battling it off camera because I've done five battles, or four or five battles now on video, and I'm going to cut them all because it keeps ending. I'll keep this one in, and then I'll just go ahead and beat them off video, and we'll just have to deal with that. Unfortunately, because the battle likes to constantly glitch out, I think our best bet is probably to avoid any moves that affect both Pokemon in the battle. I think that possibly might be what's causing it to crash. So I'm going to go ahead and try to defeat these guys off video, and I will come back with you either when I'm about to win or after I defeat them. Guys, we won the battle, and at the very end, P ended up taking out four of their Pokemon in a row with Rock Slide, so... Oh, P finally moving up in the world. As you can see from my Pokemon's levels, if you check the difference between now and before I started taking on Tabitha and Maxi here, I was battling them for a very long time, probably maybe 10 to 15 times that I had to fight them. So I gained a ton of experience and a ton of levels. Vibrava up to level 38, which means we're only seven or eight levels off of evolving. So that is pretty cool. We should be able to get there fairly soon. I'm going to go ahead and head on into the Poke Center, and then I'm going to let you guys know the name for our Melodic as well as the winner for the name contest for our Melodic. All right, guys, so there were a few pretty good names in the comments. I'm going to give a few honorable mentions and then let you know which name I've decided on. So a few honorable mentions. There was Aquarius, kind of a cool name, Neptune, Milo, and probably a few others that were pretty decent. But the name I am going to go with is actually Calypso, which is from, I believe, Greek mythology. I mean, Nero is from Roman history, so it's basically the same thing. So we got a common theme going on there. I kind of like the name Calypso. So I think that's how you spell it. If I spelled it wrong, let me know down in the comments. But uh, the winner is actually Cyclist. So go ahead and message me over on Discord if you can. And I will make sure you get that shiny Pokemon of your choice next time I am available. So that's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.